Hello, this is Lloyd Tran. I'm the director of the California Institute of Nanotechnology. There are many medical advantages of using nanotechnology. For example, in the cancer treatment, one of the major challenges of uh, developing a chemotherapy drug is how to develop the drug which is very effective but at the same time to reduce toxicity of the medication. Many cancer patients suffering from undesirable side effects such as uh, hair loss, uh, nausea, even have a uh, heart trouble by um, receiving uh, intravenous infusion of uh, chemotherapy. The many patients would rather not use the Texo, even though it have a lot of therapeutic value. So the new company had developed uh, the way to use um, Texo in nano particle size. For example, if you cut down the size of the nanoparticle uh, uh, composition of a taxo, you could reduce the toxicity about three or four times, at the same time maintain the efficacy of the drug. Besides um, medical formulation, now technology has been used for drug delay, for example. Uh, the challenge of uh, medical treatment is how to deliver the medication to the target organs without give a lot of medication to the patient. Using a limosome and a nanocrystalline limosome, one can develop a nanocomposite, including a payload of a cancer drug or some other medical treatment. And by coating that with some certain antibodies, we can inject the medication into the body. And uh, we hope that the medication can arrive into the target and when it arrives to target, it begins to release the medication in a controlled fashion. We call control, release, targeted drug delivery systems. And the technology is not perfect, but has been developed in clinical trial. The FDA is looking very closely, and hopefully we can have some application approved by the Food and Drug Administration. Besides drug delivery medication, we talk about the ability to implant new treatment to the brain of uh, some patients have uh, neurological diseases. By using nanoparticle, one can develop a new medication that can cross the blood-brain barrier with the ability to kill, to treat, and to uh, manipulate the way things work in uh, the brain system. This is Lloyd Tran with the California Institute of Nanotechnology. Too long?